stream out and it was cool uh but only came out for last gen consoles now they did finally port it to the pc i finally purchased it, it came out like a couple months ago so let's run through the options real quick way better <laughs> it looked much better on pc than it did on consoles now um they don't really add too much in options here. I mean, yeah, you see, you got different quality, but literally, like, changing it, I don't see much of a difference. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. Of course, uh, anti aliasing and all that. I mean, they don't have the, like, they don't have the uh, you know, NVIDIA nice little features. Some extra stuff they did add, though, is uh, definitely some more on the God Rays, Volumetric Fog, PC stuff like ambient occlusion, all that. So, uh, let's hop into the game. Now, I'm a little bit into this. I thought about playing for the very start, but it was mostly just... You know, tutorial. You're in, if you're interested in Rogue, you're interested in Story, I'm, at this time, I think you would have seen it by now. If you want me to play it, I'll go back and replay it. But right now, I'm not. I'm just going to hop in the game. Now, I will say story-wise, I'm enjoying this so far. In the first 15 minutes, they contribute more to the Assassin's Creed, both, like, you know, past story and current, like, I guess real-time, not real-time, current-day story. First 15 minutes, they contribute more than freaking Unity ever has in the entire game. I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and trash the developer, trash the game like feel bad, but Unity like added nothing to Assassin's Creed story in my opinion. It just, I don't know, felt lifeless. Like if you don't play that one, you don't have to worry about it. It, you won't have to play that one for the next one unless it's a direct Unity, you know, sequel, which I kind of doubt. I doubt Arno's gonna mat matter in the next one. Or well, you might. I don't know. Might be in close enough a timeline. Anyways, uh, this one links three and four pretty much. I love Assassin's Creed 4. Granted, it wasn't that much of an assassin game, it's more of a pirate simulator, which is awesome. That's actually what I wanted. So I enjoyed it. But this one, like, immediately links them. Like, um. Well, first we'll go, like, hey, here's Shay. I'm currently an assassin right now. And that's a thing I like about this right now, above 4 already. Shay's an assassin, so that's why he can swing and jump and grab stuff. And, you know, that's why he can do his assassin stuff. That's why it makes sense he could do the damn leap of faith. Now, Edward, on the other hand, I like Edward, don't get me wrong, but there is no explanation how Edward got his abilities in 4. It was pretty much, oh, you know, old sailors got fish hooked for fingers. Um, no, that doesn't explain how you can jump off the top of freaking posts and land right in a hay barrel, or how you can just climb this like no man ever can. I, mean, I don't know. Your abilities are not explained, Edward. That's what I'm trying to say right here. At least Shays, you understand. He's a trained assassin. His abilities make sense. And the thing I love about this is there's not like a lot of getting into it. It just throws you in the game, gets you started. You're already, uh, you're already an assassin. You don't have to build up to that moment. It's already there. I need to repair my ship. So that's cool. I love that. One second, guys. Sorry, you're going to see a little flash on YouTube. Apologize about that. So that's cool. That's awesome. It not help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Ooh. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite, and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll Sorry, I had to listen to that. I'm going to be interested in the story, so when the story goes on, I may shut up a minute. Uh, ignore that, I'm playing with a controller. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on with the story. Now, as far as the visual goes... It's not a bad looking game. It's not a bad looking game, but it definitely does it like if four looks better than this. If you're going by graphics comparison. Like it, you know how games for a PSP port on the PlayStation, or let's say if you played Metal Gear Peace Walker, like the uh, HD remix, and uh, you played on 360, you played on a PS3. Like y you know that was a PSP game. And it feels like it was a PSP game. Everything about it feels like PSP. That's that's what I'm feeling with this. It's, again, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't bother me too much, it's just it would have been nice to have some other features to show that they actually took some more care porting this to PC. Which Ubisoft is not the best track record with PC ports. I was hoping to see a little better, but yeah, this is what we got. So, enjoying it. So as far as the story, as far as like linking 3 and 4. 
I'm just sailing around being happy right now. Sorry, guys. It's taking it in. Anyways, um... Oh, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight him. I'm gonna die. <laughs> but, uh, as far as, like, Link of the Stories, at the beginning, they already have a character from 4. Slight spoilers, guys. <laughs> Anyways, a character from 4 meet up with a character from 3. Now, the character from 4 is, uh, Adewale. Golden Adewale, that was Edward's shipmate. Or, and there's also, he was in the Freedom Cry DLC, running around, freeing slaves, doing the assassin thing. Being a full member of Assassins. You know, Guild. Which is awesome. Guild, that's probably wasn't the right word for Assassin's Creed. But anyways, he, he joined the Creed. He took it as his own. And uh, he's a pretty high, well-respected member of the Assassins in this game. And he's, of course, much older. This takes place roughly near the start of the... Was it Seven Year War? Yeah, that's rough. And I'm gonna die. Because I'm not paying attention. Anyways, um, Adwali actually comes up to a familiar scene in Assassin's Creed 3, the mansion. The mansion, your, like, hub world in 3. And he meets with Achilles, which was your mentor in Assassin's Creed 3 as well, which is pretty awesome. So you see a young Achilles, which is awesome. If you remember Assassin's Creed 3, Achilles does mention a time when... God, it's almost like a Star Wars story. Like, you know, all the Jedi are around. All of a sudden, there's not Jedi anymore because something happened. Uh, we're playing that, but this is pretty much Assassin's Creed which is the Vengeance Seth. Or Vengeance Rogue. Vengeance the Templar. However you want to say it. I have a feeling that's how this game's going to play out. Shay is going to be your big bag Darth Vader, and that sounds awesome. Do I know how that, if that's actually it? No. But it's what I'm feeling like. That's what I'm hoping. So, uh, yeah, okay. Let me... Let me focus a little bit, so we can actually get somewhere. You could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite. Connor may and inherit the house. Then Achilles is heir. Interesting. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You interesting, again, interesting. Throw you in the ocean. And you, uh, that's the other part that you may miss as well. You kind of go through training to get you used to it, but you, you run around with the other assassins. It's pretty cool. They show you, like, the climbing mechanic, the uh, hidden blade mechanic, and your uh, pistol mechanic. By the way, I love how the pistols are attached to this dude. Like, you, they actually brought the holsters back. Assassin's Creed 4, they're kind of just attached to you. I know, I'm a sucker for things like visual detail like that. Yeah, you actually see the holster. That's cool. I like that. Oh, iceberg. Also, to give you an um, idea of where you're at, you're more on America's coast now instead of the Caribbean. So as we go out, this where we roughly are. But you can see where we are. It's pretty cool. Near the whole Boston area. I might be wrong. The geography is fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about. But it's pretty cool. Like, so... Before it was here. We're up here. And for some reason, I'm going to worry about icebergs. They did bring new shanty and stuff, by the way. Still some old ones, though. Ooh, let's dock it. Oh, dry docking. That's never comfortable. By the way, what's up, chat? I know we have a few people watching. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or concerns, hey, please let me know. I'm going to go ahead and address one of those. If you're watching the stream, yeah, the video quality sucks. I'm not going to lie. There's no getting around that. I know. It's there. I'm going to address it now. I'm going to hang a little lantern on it and let you know. Hey, yeah, that's happening. 
story. Gotta be quiet. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. Hmm. The lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Okay, one minute, guys. Let's pay attention to the story. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. Story, I'm paying attention. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to fix the stream. Whoops. I've never known anyone who's done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing yes, elbows did. with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. God, ice curves are messing me up. Read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Porto France and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. Let me guess. She wasn't. She was, very much so. Hmm. The package eventually found its way to Francois Macandal, mentor of the Haitian Brotherhood. What is it? The package, I mean. The very box we're seeking. We still have little idea what this vessel hey, is. Hey, there's Spike Glass. I need to know how to Why do this controller. Alright. All right, I'm going to, for people watching stream, I'm going to cut it and restart it real quick. There, Captain. An English vessel. It's to be in trouble. That's fine. Actually, hold on. Let me yank out OBS. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. So, this uh, is the introduction to ship combat, or boarding rather, even though I've already done it. So, I guess y'all haven't seen that, so yay! Oh no, we did. Boarded something right off the get go. There we go. Kind of like that we don't have the swivel guns on here, because I overused those in 4. Tally-ho! Oh no. God, I really love the fighting system better in 4. Actually, I loved it. 3 was my favorite. It was difficult, but when you did it well, it felt great. Not to mention, like, just all the options you had, rather. Well, rather. Anyways, yeah. It's just, I love the uh, 
Like, you have so many different ways to fight in original. That's why I love it. Everything had a counter. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand felt great. Uh, just running and picking up a weapon on the fly is awesome. I was really sad they took that out in Unity. The fact that you couldn't fight bare hand it sucked. Uh, I'm about to check to see if they did it on here, because uh, I just saw the weapon wheel like briefly, but I actually haven't checked yet. Uh, let me get out walk around see if that's the case. Nah, you can fight on arm. Sweet. Yeah, the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. A harbor I don't even see if I had a cabin. Nearby. Do I have a cabin? Uh, on new do... I haven't seen the cabin yet. We're going to take a look at the cabin. We can't see the cabin. Never mind. We're just going to hop right back on the wheel. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we go. Captain, Why didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti? Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Peruse. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. I shame them. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, oh, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. <laughs> Dad! Uh, oh, wow, I did not see that ship. Alright, gag. Now, clearing up these icebergs this is getting a little annoying. Oh, let's hold, let's hold up a minute. There is stuff going on over here. Hold. Take a look at this. Take a look at these warlocks. All right, take a look. I'm gonna go help our fellow sh ship out right here. I guess that's her fellowship. It's blue. I don't think he's gonna attack me. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, we're gonna get screwed up right now. Break it and fire. I love the ship combat. It's cool. Great it, it's it's just more four. But that's okay. Like if that's the only complaint about this game, uh, it's not a bad one. I need more cannons. Um, come on, pull a little closer. A little closer. A little closer. A little... Mm. Mm. We'll see if we can counter with the gun. We're gonna go in there freaking unarmed, though. Because that's how I roll. Uh, ooh, that's cold water. That's cold water. That's... Ah, uh, that's how I like to fight. Oh, except I'm doing it badly. Damn right, you surrender. Alright, clicking outside real quick. By the way, House of Stream, guys, that just resetted everything. Should be good. Pair the Morgan. Let's go repair. What happened to everybody else? I thought we were in this epic fight. Oh, we are, still are. Okay, cool. I do not know where we're at, nor where I should be going. 
All right, we're going north now. We need to go. Let's, let's go do this thing before I lose this place. I think we have to go right here. And turn. I'm trying to like fix my stream while I'm doing this. That's probably a mistake. And yes, I said steak. I need a beer. I have decided I need a beer. So as we pull in the port and get some ale. All right, guys. So let's see what's up. Ooh, I see an animus piece. Damn, right, I'm gonna get that. Actually, we're gonna haul from the port. We're gonna explore a little bit. Hmm. This is a, uh... It's definitely a controlled area. <gasps> shanty. We must get the shanty. We will always get the shanty. All right, let's get in a good area to run this down. Mm. 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 Got it. And I don't got it. Loot. Hey, what's up? Oh no, 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 why, why, why you gotta do that? I should have assassinated you. We tried, people. Just didn't succeed. I failed them. Alright, I want to discover. Let's see if we can get to that point. Hopefully this is a climby rock. It's not a climby rock. It's not a climby rock at all. This one? Climby rock? No. Not a climby rock. That's fine. We don't need climby rocks. We'll do this the hard way. And just walk up the stairs. What the hell is that? Got a box? Is that like a storehouse? Eh, don't mind me. Just mm, assassinate my way up. Uh, well, 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 hmm. I'm not doing anything well right now. There we go. And just, huh, yep. Yaddy, ooh, oh, fuck. Guys, I'm not this bad at Assassin's Creed, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I know video evidence uh, proves different right now. I'm not this bad. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this one one more time. If we don't get this time, then I'm just I'm gonna play the way I should be playing. Just you know, play it story. Get out of here. I want to see things. I want to synchronize with the world. Yeah. That we are doing. All right, there we go trying to again everybody watching this on youtube i am streaming at the same time so i'm trying to maintain that while talking while playing and all this you know i'm the one man band here this you must remember good enough good enough and for everybody like worry about the video quality i if you like the personality i hope you do that's the reason come watch i mean let me know let me know what's going on. I aim to improve the stream, and uh, right now, like, I am limited by my location as far as my network connection goes. I plan to fix that one day. By fix, that means I have to move. <laughs> but at the moment, this is what we got. I'm trying to work with it. And one day there will be a nice clear stream where just, you know, stuff works. And we will get there. Stick with me. 
But of course, any support, and by support, I mean just, hey, just let me know you enjoy it. Uh, let me know if there's something you don't enjoy, and I'll uh, work to fix it. I, just any type of feedback is what I'm looking for. And of course, if you are enjoyed it, hit that follow button. It's a great thing to do. Okay, um... We want more cannons. Yes. If you work us oh well, let's purchase the first one. If we can purchase more cannons, you better believe me, I'm gonna purchase more cannons. Further the main story. We can't We just can't. Okay, can't do nothing there. Can't do anything there. We can't do a damn thing right now besides hull and one upgrade. Which probably means we just have to beat this part and then we can probably upgrade all this. Whatever. Harpoon storage. Hold up. Oh, rowboat. Okay, so they're still fishing. Got it. One thing that's always been great about Assassin's Creed games, music. Music's fantastic. My thanks for your trust, Captain. Cold. Alright. Pardon me. Excuse me. Let's get it rolling. Course to anti captain. Indeed, the chasseur is waiting for us. Watch out. Meet me. Rope, the Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. We're I want a shanty. Ships ahoy. More fishermen from Perse. Oh. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Stand right in our way, time. I guess so, that's my objective, so I guess that's what we're gonna do! Alright, look at your target. Bump a dump and bark a bark. Okay. I got that. What did I want to Oh, go. By the way, uh, something I may have to stream this weekend. I'm definitely going to do some more um, Assassin's Creed stream. But uh, Goat Simulator Day Z, where Goat Z came out. We are going to play that. That lovely Gentile game. Actually, let's leave that guy so we can repair after our mess. Alright, let's see these bastards. Well, I'm trying not to hit the mines. What else do you expect me to do, buddy? Oh, take cover. Take more cover. Oh, we're not supposed to sink these guys. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, we're overextending a little bit. Alright, let's go head on this ship right now. And then we'll go board the other one and repair. Got the loot. Ooh, there's sinking ship. Now this is a thing that oh well. Now this is something that like a lot of people weren't aware of in the other Assassin's Creed game. In uh, four, there if you see burning ships like this, you can board them. I see they addressed that and made that very cleared. And this one. Now you can't board them by conventional means. You literally have to. Oh, I can't get off the wheel. You have to, like, get off the ship and go get them. But we can't do that because we're in combat. Yeah. Dude, these icebergs are getting annoying. But that's cool. I'll adjust. I will adjust.
All right. Let's see this little bastard. All right, we're just gonna come up and broadside that baby. And skadoosh. All right, let's board. Get this repair. Get out. Oh wow, I didn't know. Oh, are you gonna join me? Or I was just gonna sit here and like be ship ordinance. That's the thing, right? I may have to turn off some visual aids because they're a little too much. YOLO off the ship though. There we go. Ow. That's how I fight. Sweet. I realize I haven't progressed any of the story. I get sidetracked in these games so much. The ADD factor definitely kicks in. They do that well. The last of them. Then let us go on. We're not too far from Anticosti Island now. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'll oh, damn, Cold Cat. That does sound painful, man. You all right, though? Like, it didn't do any, like, super damage, did it? God, Spike catching you in the chin on your bike pedal. That's... Mm. Alright, we're not going to board this one. It will take the loot, though. I may have to turn up the dialogue. I want to sing. Why can't I sing? Can't sing in the story. Why not? So we're still in learning phase here. There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck. Anyways, I'm happy with my purchase. By the way, I'm I'm so far I'm enjoying this grain, and I'm only like not well. I'm not far in it whatsoever. The ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Yeah, I'm role playing it a little bit. Will you what? Fight about it? The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's old Delphine. <laughs> Ha, ah, drunk humor. Ooh, map. There's a map. There's a map. And it's not here. Is it up here? Is a map up here? Map? Map? Map. Got the map. Oh, that's fire. That's not a collectible. 
Uh, we got, we, we have to do this every place we go. We got to get to the high point. Oh, my Beelzebub's balls. What happened to that wall? It looks like someone took a cannon to it. I hate digging stone out of the Up, is up, is up. By the way, uh, guys on the stream, are you hearing the audio fine? I gotta know. Gotta know, because I gotta make some changes if not. Got the shanty. Okay, we're not getting that yet. But all that matters is we got the shanty. Sweet. All right, now we'll go jump off and get Animus Fragment. What is all this mess? Some, oh, wrong thing. Some um, uh, items are, you know, symbols I'm not familiar for. Cave painting? Okay, and more letter. All right. That's what those are. Well, we're going to get this. Oh, that's cold water. One thing I'm not surprised they don't put like a like a, a danger to the water on here. Like it's freezing. There's icebergs. This is cold water. I do not know how to use Eagle Vision yet. You did not teach me. Oh, there we go. I, I don't know what else you expect me to expect, but yeah, there we go. Mischief. Well, that didn't open. Alright, I'm not going to worry about the war letter. Let's go ahead and continue on the story, but after the chest. Always the chest. There, jumping off put me in a bad spot. I'm seeing this now. And there's no climby rocks. Uh, that's a sin. Yeah, I can go straight to the boat, but I don't want to. I want to go this way. I want to explore. Like a free assassin should. A free roaming one. Can't cage me. Well, hell, we're up here. Might as well get it. Oh, coughing coming. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, that one's been, uh, that one clinged on. Okay, progressing with said story. Don't mind me. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, I'm not going back up there for it. Hmm. Come on. Come on, get on the tree. Get on the tree. There you go. Alright. Don't don't get me from man. Who shoot me? Who sh who shooteth? Guy, I'm I'm just trying to get some artifacts here and you're shoot at me. Rude. Fine. I'll I'll take the hit. I'll go away. Just don't want to be a dick about it. And we gotta hide, we're just gonna roll with it. So interesting, like not everybody's like clear cut, hey this is bad guy, hey this is good guy. We got some mid range people here that are just kinda like I'm not gonna gun you down if I see you unless you're doing something stupid. I respect that. So more factions, just not like straight, hey, civilian, not civilian. How goes the fur trade? <laughs> Not well enough to put beef on my family's plates. If you want beef, Interesting. raid more British brigs. They're loaded down with barrels. Oh yes, their Irish farms yield much meat. I like the random conversations in this too so far. Far better than the locals could Nice little touch. Take a look at this. 
I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Damn right. Professor, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some hmm. kind of code, but neither I nor the Rosen. Being all serious to your assassin. The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Oh, nope. holding back beer, Bert. You, sir, have our thanks. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I damn sure did not sink the ship in three minutes because I was dicking about. I hate that. They don't let you know. Mm, you got to go out and look them up. I don't like that. You should just tell me all where I have to get go. Okay. I'm going to change some options. Like, I don't need some things. I might need that. I don't really need crew meter. I don't really need my health. Don't need a puppeteer. Don't need the tutorials. Uh, we'll keep updates on. We didn't move on. Don't need that, really. Or do we? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. I might turn some more off. Like, I, I honestly think games like this, going minimal is more. Like, when you take away the extra stuff, you're, you know, well, your HUD, uh, you start to appreciate, like, just, and kind of engross yourself in the game more. Like, uh, this is something you need to try if you have it. Oh, I couldn't hold that bird back. There it was. In games like GTA... Like, if you played them already, I mean, I understand, like, it does make it much easier to play without it, but if it's something you, like, go back and play, try turning the map off and stuff like that. I think you actually would appreciate the game world a little bit more. And, uh, throughout playing this, you might actually see me start cutting more stuff off. That's that's how I go with Assassin's Creed games. Except, uh, damn, having a map is almost damn near necessary sometimes, so. Unless you're really good with waypoint markers, and it's almost not good with on-screen ones, so. Wait, am I doing something here, or am I doing something that I need to hop in my ship and go boom? I need to hop in my ship, okay. Well, let's go to our ship. Bum -bum -bum. Boom. What's up, guys? Slap hands. No? Okay. Hey, we can go to our cabin now. Let's see what it looks like. So yeah, I mean, if you want more for, pick this up. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm liking it. Oh, cool. We got all of our stuff right here. I like that, that your ship is your hub. And I mean, I kind of like having secret hideouts and crap like that. It's awesome. Everyone needs them. But yeah, all your stuff's just right here. It's definitely like a lot definitely more basic than freaking and any other ones all right let's see if it'll let me upgrade more stuff now yep upgrading on the fly can't afford anything else wait that's free no it's not oh I sneeze Excuse me. Alright, we haven't got that far yet. We got more cannons, though. It's cool. I think I will enjoy this. I think it's a Assassin's Creed game I enjoyed, and after Unity left such a bad taste in my mouth, right in my mouth, just violated all over it. Uh, this is a nice... It's just nice. That's all I can say. Especially if you're uh, if you're a fan of four. Already did it. Step ahead of you. What's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington docks is ours. 
Ephraim. You're finally getting into the spirit of things. Hey, look He's at a that. Temper and a politician. Or Borealis. To like. Good. Hoist anchor. Why does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins. Same as him. Oh, we're going to try to get on this one. Let's try to show you what I couldn't earlier. We may or may not get that whale, too. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Or whatever that no is there. Oh, Kilo Whale! There we go. Let's see if I can actually get a rope while there. Do I have rope? No? Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. I need this. Yay! Yep, see? Look, you got a timer, and you can actually get stuff off the ship. So that's something that's actually in 4 that I don't think a lot of people actually do. Or known about. Like, it doesn't let you know at any point that you can do this in the game. On 4, that is. This one, at least they kind of mark it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, get off the ship claims me. Oh, cold water. Oh, we're gonna turn around and watch it, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll see how the, uh, I imagine it's exact action. same, but, yeah, let's try to eat us a whale. I feel I was more grown up when we were children. We slept <laughs> rough and scrounged for meat, but at least... Let's go, yeah, at least he's wearing clothes. His hunter outfit, that's kind of interesting. Hey, I'm wearing mittens. Sweet. I like that in the middle of the conversation, though. You know, I'm getting real serious about something about how I need more free. I was like, oh, let's go hunting. So ice chunks, the uh, bringing us into the next generation gameplay. Where is he? Dunna, 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 Oh, no! Watch in, Lord Bell. Oh, wait, did we get him? We got him! And then I f messed up. Seriously, though, ice chunks, you get on my nerves. Did I not miss it? Oh, I didn't mean to throw that one. Watch out for the ice, Captain. Hang on, man. Oh. I am not doing well at all. I'm slightly worried. I didn't hit him! This one's dangerous. I can't believe I hit the stupid iceberg. Is he coming at me? Damn it. Damn it. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to 
anyone do that? Mm. I'm bad. And we didn't get it. Wow, I actually feel like I need to buy harpoons. Never felt like that on uh, 4. Oh well. We're not going to do that again. Not right now. <laughs> You're right. Ah, uh, so there's more loading screens than there was before as well. <laughs> Definitely doesn't have that seamless thing going on, and they did not patch that for PC. That sucks. This war was pretty much open. I mean, there's a few areas we had to load into, but it looks like there's definitely going to be more on this. Especially since, this, again, it was built more for the last gen, not the current gen in mind. Which kind of sucks. Companies stop, stop doing that. It, they needed to get it with the times. But at least they focused their development. Got a little too reflective of that water, though. So, I don't know. Looks a little awkward. I mean, it looks nice, but it looks awkward. Alright, guys. Well, we've been streaming for a bit. We've been recording for a bit. And for my sanity's sake of getting this uploaded and not waiting all damn day, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. So, I hope you enjoyed the cannon fire. And my first look, or my first shared look at Assassin's Creed Rogue. I mean, we discussed it. We talked about what it's like for PC. If you're ever wondering about it, then I hope this helps you. <laughs> of course, I hope this helps you. So, uh, yep, I'm going to just cut it here. And now with the stream, um, I'm not going to do like a full play on this. Uh, I'll just so when I'm in the mood, I'm going to play it on my own. But when I'm in the mood to stream, I'll just pop it on. And of course, uh, usually I'll pop this up on YouTube. So if you're watching me on YouTube, you know where to. I mean. Come over to twitch.tv slash the Asian Gamer. Watch it live. Interact with me. Which, uh, you know, kind of like if you want to see something, I will do it. If it's within my power, I will do it. So uh, that's one good way if you want to see how the game works. And that's that's what I like to do with my streams. Of course, um, I want to play them in enjoyment, so it kind of show you the game. And that's the biggest thing. I want to show you the game. I want to show you what you want in the game. So if there's certain things you're wondering about, just bring it on in, man. And I'll see what I can do for you. So it's kind of interesting. There's like these instant sailing areas. Anyways, like I'm, I'm just gonna keep going on with this. So yeah, and of course, uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, I am starting to export uh, HD recordings. Like I'm directly recording the stream right now as a direct recording, not as just an export from stream. So you can't see it in a better way, in high def, so you get a better idea what the game actually looks like. And, of course, I only do 720p right now, because, well, this game, it doesn't really matter if you go 1080. It's not like they had the resolution or the texture. That's one part I was kind of mad about. They didn't do HD textures for PC, which they could have, they should have, they didn't. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this to YouTubes. And, of course, if you want to get in contact with me, you can reach me at the Agent Gamer on Twitch. Not Twitch, Twitter. At the Agent Gamer on Twitter. That's Agent with the E, by the way. And if you like, uh, if you like the personality, if you uh, like stuff I have put out, if you like to stream, I mean, let me know and feel free to browse some more stuff on a little group I like to work with called Constantly Calibrating. We do loads of let's plays, like uh, multi-camera stuff. We do live interviews at places like RTX, PAX, basically whatever place to let us in. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, we, we put out a lot of good quality content and a weekly podcast. So, uh, definitely check us out. We've been putting a lot of hard work, and we like to bring quality with that, too. And we do hope you enjoy. So, I mean, if you haven't seen yet, give us a shot. Let us know what you think. And we, I mean, we're highly looking for some constructive feedback. Even if you want to just straight criticize, we'll take it. 
we'll listen to it, and we might make some changes upon it if, you know, something within our power to fix, and we believe that needs to be fixed. So yeah, give us suggestions. We're always looking for it. We, we want to know... We know who our audience is. We want to know what they think. And if they have some uh, concerns, we'd like to know. If they have something like to see, we would like to try to make it happen. And we're going to try to make everybody happy. Well, we can't make everybody happy, but, you know, we, we do the best. So, thank y'all for joining me tonight. I do hope you enjoyed this. I'm enjoying playing it, and then I'm definitely going to play some more. So, to everybody that joined me on Twitch, thank you so much for everybody watching on YouTube. Thank you again, and uh, of course, if you're enjoying, you know, hit that subscribe button. Let me know. And feel free to leave comments. So, take care.